Hello. Hello, hello. <clears throat> How are we doing? Got a bit of a weird throat. Hopefully that doesn't continue. Um, yes. Welcome to Stram. Um, the bot, I don't believe, has updated anyone. Um, because why would it? <laughs> hello, Emily. How are you doing? Um, how's it going? Well, I hope. Oh, of course, there's a sticker for that. Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you, too. Um, hope it's a good one. It goes very cool, very well, um, etc. I'm bad with specific well wishes, but I, I do wish you the best. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Um, so, yeah. yeah. We're doing a game. Where is it? There it is. Dishonored. This boat is, doesn't exist anymore. We burnt it. Um, so, yeah. We're playing a game. We robbed a bank. That's what we did last time. We robbed a bank. We nicked a sword, as well as pilfered the belongings of quite a few rich people. Um, and now we're gonna steal from a museum. We're, we're not your typical good person. <laughs> I mean, we were an assassin, so I suppose, you know, slight improvements as time goes on. Um, what's the chances I'm gonna have to click outside of the window? Probably quite high. Ooh, an owls. I remember these. So yes, um, if you if you weren't already aware, you're trying to employ techniques to actually get shit done this year. So am I. Yeah, let's we'll encourage one another to get get cracking. Um, I mean, you already did, you, you know you did a picture of a Pokemon every day for like 150 days, and you carried that on sort of like on weekdays and daily drawing some of these sorts of things. You, you've got all sorts of you know. Hard work ethic behind you. I'm, I'm sure you can do. You, you can achieve a lot. I'm sure of it. Um, but also, don't worry if you don't, because you know unforeseen things happen, and don't be too hard on yourself. But you are definitely capable. That much is is evident. Um, so yes, apologies for breaking off the positivity, but um, we're at a museum because we have to pick up some things that were sent to the museum, apparently by Sinfuego, who was a uh, pharmacist who saw visions of the void, painted pictures, stole some stuff from the Eyeless, and then sent it somewhere. Um, let's game. Um, yes, uh, we've been here before in Dishonored 2. Um, the Brigamore Witches were holed up here, I believe. Um, under the tutelage of, there we go, clicking off the screen, I remembered. Under the tutelage of Brianna Ashworth whom we neutralised without killing, because that's the canonical ending. We also met this friend. There they are. In a good time. I still don't know what's up with the eye. A bit strange. But, uh, there we are. Right, yes, so we're here. In hostile territory. As per you. We have a broom! Ooh. Um, cool. So, how much has this place changed since I was here last? Let's have a peek. Um, some angelfish scales, some stuff under here. Very nice. Uh, this is... Oh, there's a thing up here, apparently. Lovely, lovely. Oh, and a, a flashing... What's it? Um, I'm trying to remember... Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I can't click that. It's fine. Um, so, yeah. I suppose we should get cracking. So yeah, apparently the um, since we've got rid of all the witches, the overseers have decided to uh, take this place. They have seized it, um, and are burning all the heretical stuff, which is probably quite a lot, all things considered. Um, I'm gonna, I'm trying to work out a way of getting over there safely. Squeezes the muscles as a sponge. Might as well get in here. Over here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna steal your stuff first. Can I talk to you? Sure. What do you um, it's my oh. Lonnie. He went into that building with the red poster over there. Uh -huh. Said he wanted to check for something real quick, like, well, that was hours ago, and he's not back. And with overseers crawling all over the place, I just know something bad happened. You look tough. Why don't you go check on her? Can't. Promised I'd stay put right here, out of harm's way. 
Lon says we can't risk us both getting hurt. Especially if... Please. Can you just go check on him for me? I, I, I'll make it worth your while. I was going to go in anyway because there was a bone charm, so sure. Um, I don't have to say anything. Though. Did you find my Lonnie yet? Oh, no. <clears throat> right. Cool, 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 cool. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Um... It's a sticker from a miss. How you doing, miss? You feeling better now? I, I heard you felt a bit ill. Ooh. Those ashtrays make so much noise. Open up. Um. We know you're in there. Surrender, and we won't harm you for entering a quarantined area. Just deliver you to the void. Open the door. What was this? Strong arms. Um. I try get choke enemies unconscious slightly faster. That might be helpful. Well, now I can. <laughs> you know there's exits, right? He escaped through a back exit. Yeah. <laughs> a bar. He's probably drunk and passed out. You know how these blasphemous rats seek out sin. Last warning. Open up or we blow the damn door open. Oh. So, what I can do is... Oh, there's a few of them. Good, good. The back room. If he runs, block his escape. We saw you skulk into this place. We will find you. We know what you're doing. Reveal yourself, criminal. No. <laughs> Something is amiss. Some heathen has grown old by these times. I shall not abide the footfall of a black. Uh, Badoodaloo. It's Ragdoll. Hello. Um, you think you ate something you shouldn't have? Oh dear. And hello, Dark. I'm, I've missed people. Sorry. Just paying attention to the game. And the noobs. So many friends. Um, just had lunch. What did you miss? Not much. We've pretty much just started. Um, somebody. Asked us to find their friend Lonnie, who I am assuming is this no. person. Um. Yeah, so that hasn't ended well. <laughs> um, some overseers are coming here. What oh, was the button? Didn't announce the stream. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Emily. That's very nice. Um. It, it appears to be not not in a great situation. It does say dead, doesn't it? Yeah. Should I loot? I don't know if I should loot. I'm looking at. Very interested in stuff. Let's. Uh... I was going to say there has to be something breakable in here, but I think he's already broken it. All. Um. Excellent. Stay here. Sounded like I'll just broke it. That was. Lonnie, aka dead. <laughs> Blood flies, maybe. I mean, you know, weird's also oh, known as dead, so it's not impossible. Okay, you won't be out of mm. eye shot. That's a word, right? But Remember that maneuver is non-lethal. Uh, can you? Okay, that was weird. This game is oddly, oddly buggier. That's right, yeah? <laughs> Can't speak today. <laughs> than its predecessor, which is weird because it's exactly the same engine. Are we not? Oh. Uh, we They're all asleep. Okay, right, let's um oh, I'm not trying to carry ammo, I'm trying to there. Ooh. Oh, that's my sword. We got the weird sword, that's what we got we did last time, we got the weird sword, our friend died. Um and yeah, we're now trying to find some papers in an old museum, which I haven't been to yet because I had to find Lonnie. Um, more oddly buggy and muchly, indeed. Dear Lonnie, I've been thinking about the last time we talked. You said you're torn up inside that you can't offer Courtney a decent proposal with no ring. 
Well, my boss had to leave a stash of jewellery behind in her apartment when they put Syria Gardens under quarantine, if I recall right. There's a ring in there you might use for a proposal. Um, it'll do until you find a nicer one anyway. Consider it my wedding gift to you two. Fondly, Marussia. Well, that's sad. Um, every time you non-lethally knock someone out, you're reminded of the TFS Arkham Asylum playthrough in which they just jumped on people from great heights while yelling no killing. <laughs> Marvellous. Um, I do remember this place. We picked up a note in Dishonored 2. This is a map from Dishonored 2, by the way. Um, so I should know roughly my way around. There's bits of door kind of in the way. Um, yeah, we found a note there which has explained the, uh, the rather... Unsubtle actions of the uh, the gang in that game. Um, yeah, well, we've got access to up here. Let's have a look. That's barred off. Wonderful. But there might be something there. Anyway. There we are. Blup, blup. Broke the banisters. Oh dear. Uh, some bottles. No, <clears throat> no weird posters of rabbits. We're good. Do, 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 do. Um, fig wine? Yum. Is fig wine a thing you can make? Or is it something just in this? I don't, I don't know enough about figs. Um, right, what's this? The streets are closed on happy waters. But all it gives is a form to the world's ears. A whole new Speaking of holes, <clears throat> um, you can make wine with any sugary fruit. Okay. Truth be told, I don't really know what a fig is, so I'm, I assume it's type of fruit. Um, so what's it flickering between? Because some of these are flickering between different things. It's kind of like, oh, the rea the other reality is slightly different, you know? But that one seems the same. Um, Courtney, or whatever your name is? Yeah, he was going to propose... I'm sorry he didn't make it but I found this letter with him thought you might want it oh no Lonnie thank you here take this for your trouble thanks but I'm good you keep that Jeez, that has to deal with enough. Um, they will rise up among you like um, is that a graphical glitch? Or? No. Uh, rats. I hear rats. rats. Dogs. Got it. They can't smell me, though, because I have bones. Which sounds counterintuitive now I say that out loud. Um, there's still a lot to explore outside. Uh, I guess I won't go in just yet. I'll find ways to maneuver. Mint tea. Um, so how do you get around this place? Because I don't think... Where was it? I don't remember that bit. I just remember running through here in the speed run. Um, I vaguely remember a back area. I don't know if that's... Seemingly they've cut that off. Um, what is it? Nothing up there. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of trip mines in there. That's not the button I wanted to press. F five. <clears throat> um.
Oh, I remember this place. There was, yeah, there's stuff in here. This was where, this was full of blood flies. Don't know who's trying to keep out the overseers, but um, they're somewhat thorough. This fire's full on grenades, doesn't it? Um, might as well go around and take them all off. I can't mark them. Okay, well, what's actually up here? Well, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> but... <laughs> do that. See if this works. DFS did an Arkham Asylum. Uh, uh, who were DFS again? Ooh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get through grates, I can get through wires. Great. Um. Nope. Yep. Um. There's a lot of trip wires. I don't, don't know what happens if you do that. You do trip it. Ooh, that's not, that's not. Um. No, it's just on an electrical burst. No. What are these all hooked up to? I kind of want to know. There's a trap there. There can't be that many traps, sure. Um, fun vocal warm up for you all. To sit in solemn silence in a dark, um, dock. Oh, right, this is a sentence. I was going to say, just sitting in silence. That seems a strange thing to do for a vocal warm up. Um. To sit in solemn silence in a dull dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. That's alright. Right. Pleasant one. What was the, um... Was... <laughs> Who set these up? <laughs> My word. They went to some lengths. <laughs> oh, hang on, that's not it. Um... Sorry, rats. Calm down. Everything's fine. Don't eat the books. Silly idea. Um... And knife's messing with it. It's it's just somewhat distracting. Um, playhouse. Why? 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 Good line. Um, I got tripped one. Um, I was gonna say something. What was it? Oh yeah, the um. Imagine an imaginary menagerie managed by an imaginary menagerie manager. That's the one. Um, so that's a fun one. It's not that difficult, but... Uh... Uh, luckily this doesn't have a... Oh, that's quite something, isn't it? What's this? Um, undeniable. Be like you and don't be a native English speech speaker, so you have to excuse for not talking good and never do warm-ups. That's, yeah, fine. Um... Moon is not slowed when your weapons are unsheathed. That's the more useful one than movement is slightly faster with weapon sheath, because I never have sheath. Um, what was it I picked up? Unsustainable or undeniable. Um your sword attacks cannot be blocked. Don't use that. Goodbye. Um Silver and a strange relic. Should I pick this up? Why not? Strange relic! Strange and valuable relic from a distant isle. 
Okay then. Tobacco. Oh yeah. Oops. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. There we go. Cool. We got we got a strange relic. I don't know what for, but we did. Um. Oh. Don't eat the books. Uh. Right. So we're over here. That's lovely. But I need to get over there. So. Let's see that instead. Out very nicely. Um, uh, okay, cool. Let's go. So this was a way in to the museum from the top, so that might be handy. Um, we also found a hideout here last time, where there were also traps set up here. Okay. Um, there are also traps set up here, so I should probably be on the lookout. Tip's been there. Uh, there's a bone charm nearby, thank you for telling me. You're not going to get a lot of custom if you keep boarding up your... From the restricted area. You must need supplies. Oh, right, okay, you've got the proper door. Okay, hello! Um, contracts. What have we got? Alvaro and the Abbey. Oh, okay, we've already got the... <laughs> we've done one of them, that's great. <laughs> I abandoned my apartment last night because the Abbey's wretched quarantine. In my haste, I left a precious, precious relic behind, but I doubt anyone has seized it, considering how well protected it is. You've got that right. In fact, I'm offering good coin for anyone who's clever enough to bypass the defences and live, the, live to tell the tale. Excellent. Pill for the prophecies! Oh, I get a bone charm for this one. You will receive your stipend at the end of the mission. Sister Rosewyn keeps a detailed record of her prophetic visions. Rumour has it that she knows every secret in the Isles. Murder, treason, love affairs, dot dot dot. That kind of information could turn me into a very powerful lady. I'll give all my bone charms to whoever manages to infiltrate the Royal Conservatory and steal the book. I can steal things, why not? Punch through the wall. Why, hello there! <laughs> um, Alvaro. I have good reason to believe that the Abbey of the Everyman is committing unspeakable crimes within the Royal Conservatory. If you're as fond of them as I, am. Kill every last blind sister and overseer except for Brother Cardoza. Leave him in one of the musical chairs. One of his musical chairs and I'll deal with him myself. Uh... Death. Killing. 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 Death. Maybe. Oh, don't see many customers coming in from that district anymore. I need to I buy things. I have soon. some money. Plenty of those. Blah. Uh, what have we got? Perfect balance. Maintain your balance after displace in interpenetration and sustain only half damage. Oh, that's when you blink into someone. Okay. Um, brief invisibility after moving with displace. Displace distance is reduced. Don't want that. I'll, I'll buy all these. Why not? Enemy pistols have a better chance of misfiring. That's a fun one. A uh, smuggler's passageway. The it's, it's a thin passageway. I'll, I'll give him that. It's all yours. Enjoy. You're armed with the teeth. Ah, uh, I don't know that. Um. Yeah. Zoom, zoom more. Reduce damage. That's handy. <whistles> Bling. I'm leaving. <laughs> No, don't leave. You look like you drive a hard bargain. Reload. I'd be on my guard. I, mean, I, I want to do that, but I don't even plan on killing many people. So. Enables various alternate functions. An interesting definition. 
Uh, sticky grenade, 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 grenade. Oh, hang on, hyperbaric grenades. What were they? That stun grenade, yeah? We'll be fine. Um. We've got kind of too much money. As soon as I save enough coin, but now, anyway. I return to Calero. A peaceful old age of brandy and cigars. That's what I want. Cool. Come back next time you need something. So wonderfully vague, yes. I got in trouble for saying that in my uh, PhD interview. Can't say the word vague, it's supposed to be abstract. Vague means not defined properly. <laughs> abstract means can be used in, or can be interpreted in many ways. So evidently can't go through here to get up there anymore. Um, that's annoying. That's otherwise not terrible. Big. Um, any more? Let's do some snooping. Oh, a bin. Handy. Uh, there's a list of heretical artifacts. I've got to get that, apparently. Um, ah, there's, I knew there'd be one over there. Um, is this where we... No, I haven't been down there. Do 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 Um, you always thought it was stupid that when you get the upgrade and get more bolts, it doesn't include sleeping bolts. Yes, I know. It's like, I've got a bigger pocket, but I can't put, you know, anything else in there other than normal crossbow bolts. Which are your bread and butter when playing these games. Sleep bolts are wonderful. You quite done? Um, which is probably why they don't let you have many. Because... Can't have too many useful things, can you? That would be fun. Um. Is that a thing? Oh, uh, we've been up there, yeah. We've been down here, yeah. Oh, the high overseers wish they were as effective as me at doing damage to me. Yes, that's this. Good. Um, that was pointless. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Well, that was not my intention. What happened here? One of us is there. Hey, years over. I think I deserve it. Um. <laughs> so there's a bit of a problem with Blink in this game, <laughs> which is they give you a bone charm that allows you to do it without seeing where your marker's going. But if you do that, there's a good chance you'll just kill the person that's there. Rather than in previous games, blinking behind them. How far back am I? Um, not that far. We get the stuff up here. Click out the game. Good, good, good. One of these days I'm going to click out the game and I'm going to close OBS. 
Good. Good. Look at the plus side. We saved a healing thing. Although we do have to. Uh... <clears throat> right. It's safer to do that now. In the bushes. He's sleeping with the bushes now. That's the phrase, right? Here, blink. Ooh. Yeah, good old jog there. Might not end quite as well as I'd like. No. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm alright with that. What could that be? Here, don't let her escape. Guide my hand. Yeah, she can't escape. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, not exactly the neatest. You saw nothing. Okay. Hey, watch out. Ugh. Got disoriented by my own telescope. Well, the streets are clear now, so that's nice. A uh, list of heretical artifacts. This is a complete listing of heretical items that have been submitted through the examination of the month of rain, 1852. Still under investigation, curator's office papers, silver graphs, notes, letters. Note, the location of these new documents was revealed to the oracular order in a vision. The archive has been confiscated by Sister Roswin. She will personally examine it for potential heretical properties and communicate her findings directly to ro roving vice overseer Cardoza. Um, heretical contraption, lenses, desecrated caskets, wires, devices. Um, oh, they're doing a Frankenstein. Uh, note will be... It's Akiro! Hello, how you doing? Will be dismantled and sent to the Abbey once the sisters' examination is complete. Burned or shipped to the Abbey. 43 crates, books of arcane recipes, heretical studies, spells, rituals, instructions, blasphemous stories, burned. 17 crates, vials of unknown potions, salves, herbs and roots, shipped to the Abbey. 10 crates, human hair, animal, bones and body parts, burned. It's a museum. Um, three shawls embroidered with heretical sigils, burned. One altar, wooden, carved, wax-coated, well-used, burned. One child's doll, husky body, wizened apple face, stuck with pins, burned. That's probably not going to end well. Um, 34 runes and amulets, shipped to the Abbey. Seven notebooks and personal diaries, shipped to the Abbey. Two scrying glasses, burned. One crate, various devices for self-gratification, Burned. Three sets of children's teeth and fingernails. Burned. One ash tree cut out at the root from the conservatory terrace. Burned. The tree. What? Four crates of candles, incense, bells, and assorted ritual items. Burned. Well, that's going to burn for a while, isn't it? Sister Rosewind is keeping documents in the curator's office. I need to find them. I remember the fortnight that the ch chandlery burnt down. What's going on there? Oh, Someone there. Oh, no. No one. No one there. It's funny, isn't it? It looked like there was someone there, but there wasn't. It's amazing. Uh, 
Uh, right, you, for old time's sake. Blink. Blink. Um, that sounded like there was someone else here. Where are we? Oh, you're there. Oh, lovely. That's not close enough, is it? <laughs> Don't mind me. This regenerating mana thing is very nice. Yay! <laughs> I look away for a second, but I get it. Um, come here, don't fall down the stairs. The combat, combat in this game is riveting. Righty-ho! Slowly but surely, knocking them all out. Um, is there anything else to find while we're out here? Anything interesting down in this area? Uh, elixir, lovely. And a crate. Um, some whale oil tanks. This used to be where you did the thing with the thing. Um, there's a door. Wibbly bobbly. Um, go. hello, fishers, fishers. Uh, big old tree. No, nope, they're fine. Do 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 Not a lot of water in the game so far. There was a little bit of a river some at one point. And we did start on a boat, so that's probably a silly thing to say. Um Wasn't there a thing we could like get in there or something? Who's that door? Um we can't get in here, that's barred. So basement or top floor. Well not top floor. But... Or front door. We could go front door. Boat? We started on a boat, and then it burnt. And by which I mean a giant candle. <laughs> I love how the game lets me climb up on things that I can't stand on. <laughs> um, yeah, should we attempt to get up there? Seems pretty straightforward. We'll, we'll go the way that I went my first playthrough, because why not? Um, it's a little bit trickier than it was in the... Um, my first playthrough of Dishonored 2, I mean. Oh, hello. Um, I may or may not be in the back of the shop. Didn't think about that. Michael's Bank robbed! A daring robbery at Michael's Bank today, as an intruder bypassed an imposing set of security precautions. I did get killed by them a few times, don't worry. To breach the inner vault of Karnaka's Premier Valuables Repository. There's no word yet about any injuries or deaths during the break-in. <clears throat> That's a good way to cover your back, either way. Um, bank officials say that the thief focused on valuable personal items held in private safes and boxes within the famed Jindosh vault. The security measures at Michael's Bank are the best in the aisle, said Alexandra, Alexander Pinya, um, Chief of Security. We warped past him about 60 times. Um, I can promise you that our customers' treasures are perfectly safe. The perpetrator who broke into our vault will be brought to justice, and we'll get all the missing items back to their rightful owners, I promise you that. Binyard declined to say what the stolen items were, citing client confidentiality and the fact that the game programmers didn't want to uh, program that in, but it says that the bank has engaged a private firm to investigate the crime. They're going to find my name in the thing that I signed. While I'm here um, talking about the bank, little bit of little Easter egg that I completely missed last time, um, do you remember I said that the name Dr. Galvani seemed familiar? So we we stole... Dr. Galvani was the one who had the bird in his little lockbox. Um, Bertie the bird. Um, and he was also the one who was very, very paranoid. 
about the bank, about his valuables not being secure in the bank, um, and kept sending them letters, and they kept getting annoyed by him. Turns out, Dr. Dr. Galvani is someone who, in the first Dishonored, has a house in Dunwall, which, as part of a side quest, you rob. Then in the second Dishonored, he has moved to a smaller house, so as to be a less likely target for burglary, which you then also rob at the start of the game, and when you come back at the end of the game, he's moved away from the island altogether, citing frustrations about constantly having his stuff stolen. So we just nicked his stuff again. <clears throat> Possibly explains his paranoia. Um, <laughs> I completely forgot. I, I sort of looked it up because I was like, oh, I know this name. Why do I know this name? But yeah. I wasn't really paying attention to that. <clears throat> um, black market key. You did. Um. Yeah. So poor Doctor Galvani has now been stolen. Has now been burgled in uh, three different games. Bless. Let's go. Did, did you... I go back there? No, there's chicken wire. There's a bone charm nearby. And they haven't burnt it yet. I bet all the windows are locked. Look from the inside. Uh. Well, we can keep going. Aha! I don't know, but I saw her crawl out of that open hatch in the courtyard. I believe there is now only one witch left alive in the cellar holding chamber. Oh dear. Our therapy has thinned their numbers. Have you searched this one's corpse? Not yet. Brother Cardoza will want to examine it personally. Her death will serve the Abbey better than her wicked life ever could. Very true, brother. We must send someone to inspect that vent. We don't want another desperate rat creeping through the pipes. Um, you think it'd be cool if the rats could assist you somehow, showing you little secrets or opening up hidden areas um, on maps occasionally. You don't know, it feel like they could have more use for fun, if nothing else. I mean, there was one thing in an earlier level that they said you could break through a wall or something, um, and I didn't do that. So. But that's the only time they've been useful so far. Did I actually go in here? Look. There was no benefit either way. So yeah, I do at least know roughly the layout of this place, so that's uh, advantageous. Or advantageous. If there's anything on the outsides. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, this is the, uh, the bit that was blocked off. Um, do 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 ah. Security! Yes, so there was one of these over there which you could get into a little office. Wonder whether I can do that. I'm in shrubbery. Anyone here? Nope. Show yourself. Just the shrubbery. Uh make this a little easier.
But you're not a game designer, so what do you know? I mean, you, you can still have good ideas. And he was never seen again. Alright, this is the little room. Got a bone charm in here. Ooh. Incense. Or outset. And then, the tears! They were scrambling to testify against one another by the end. They hoped betraying their sisters would compel us to mercy. But they were all found guilty, naturally. We could barely hear the sentencing over their wails. I am sorry to have missed it. One sat in Brother Cardoza's face and said she would never confess. <laughs> Did she? No. <laughs> we cut out her tongue. <laughs> Um, just so you know, these are the, are the, um, the religious police, basically. Um, they're the church, as twere. We just killed that one guy. I mean, both of them seem to be kind of enjoying what, this conversation. Um, I assume it's the same layout as before. Recycled content, why not? Uh, let's do again. Let's make my life a little easier now. I understand how this all works. Um, good, good. I think we should forfeit our no kill right. I mean, we do have a thing that says kill everyone, so we might, if if we have to, or cut out his tongue. <laughs> I mean, if if it's Brother Cardoza, well, no, that they they were talking about Brother Cardoza. Um, That guy, not bothered at all. Yeah. That's the brother Russo. Dear brother, I hope all is well with you. How does my garden fare? Are the potatoes sprouting yet? I wish I was there to see it and not here in this den of heretical horror. I understand how important our work at the conservatory is, but I fear I shall never feel clean again after dealing with the remnants of Delilah's coven. Brothers, you cannot imagine how far from the strictures these creatures have fallen. They have abandoned their humanity to wallow in the wanton flesh like animals and to worship the outsider with twisted, profane rituals. To read their writing is to blush with shame from such degraded beings. And for what? A fleeting taste of mortal power? Incomprehensible. I can't wait to put their filth behind me and return home to the good clean earth and the bright sunshine of our quiet lives together. You faithfully yours, brother, Hippolito. Nice. Problem is, I don't know which one of these was talking, so... Oh, just a slight itch. We still haven't seen one of the oracular order yet, which is presumably new content, unless I missed something big in Dishonored 2. Hippo will eat you? I mean, they're uh, herbivores, but they do kill. They're unlikely to eat. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a flower. Stuff. <gasps> Um, can my spirit get in? No. But theoretically, if I can see that from somewhere else, my spirit might be able to place a marker there, and then I have to run back here and go there. So, good to know. <clears throat> good to bear in mind. Um, ba -do 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 -do. If in doubt, just say a doo-doo several hundred times. Oh, 
And there's the door. There was a guy standing there before. Um, I didn't go in here. This was what I was thinking of when I said there's something around here. Condemned due to infestation. Tell me. Hello, rats. first game. Um, I keep the doo doo doos in mind for if you ever stream. Ah, but yeah, but from which account? Mm. Um, that's an interesting light source. Ah. Yeah, see, I think you could get through here. Um, might still be able to get under here. Whack. No. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's the thing. Copper wire, a bunch of coins, some grenades, some mines. And we're back here. Yay! Exploration! Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a shelf. I thought it was thought it was boarded up. So we can explore relatively freely at the moment. Most people are unconscious, I imagine. Things haven't changed all that much. They burned a lot, apparently, but there's still a lot of stuff here. A uh, trial of Patricia Deshkova. Apologies. Conducted by roving vice overseer Alvaro C Cardoza. Um, prisoner Patricia of Dunwall, female, 22 years of age. Offense heresy, consortia with unclean creatures. Verdict guilty. Punishment reformation, musical therapy. Um, a, woman who, who, uh, a woman also captured in the conservatory confessed to witnessing the prisoner sucking a rat at her breast as if it were an infant. Interesting. Uh, testimony. Um, transcribed by Overseer Benson. It was a haggard thing, all skin and bones. Patricia gathered it up in her arms and held it with her until it stopped wriggling. She had no milk, but the rat gnawed uh, at her until there was a flow of blood. And then... Uh, that's disgusting. Um, <laughs> Etc. Uh, she became feverish. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Prisoner statement to the court. He cried so pitiful, I know the poor thing was starved. Um, prisoner will be subjected to experimental music therapy to restore an appropriate aversion to vermin. Um, that's from something? I mean, it the, wasn't that part of the witch trials? There was a, a statement, because I remember it being in um, an episode of Inside Number 9, which was styled on the witch trials, where someone had a pet rat, and it was that was accused of being the familiar. And I saw it, saw it suckling at the teat! Just, just a weird statement in a witch trials thing. Um, trial of Constance Bow. Um, heresy, verdict, reformation, etc. Inventory of items confiscated from a prisoner after capture at the Royal Conservatory submitted as evidence of witchcraft. Um, one sharpened piece of bone. Three rat tails. Five pieces of braided hair. Also rat tails. Um, one hand mirror. Broken. One waxwork doll fashioned to look like the former Grand Inventor. Hmm? Burned on site silver graph of the offending item has been filed. Um, item has been stuck with several hairpins in the neck, head and groin. Charming. Uh, six pieces of whalebone inscribed with lewd images. We've seen some of those. Um, one pair of testicles dried and strung together, found tied around the prisoner's neck. When asked the origin, the prisoner stated that they were your own. What? Prisoner will be subject to experimental music therapy to remove her willful nature. <laughs> and attraction to black magic. Have you read it when you're reaching up, uh, reading up on witch trials? Possibly. I seem to remember that being a relatively famous one, but uh, I may be wrong. Good. Uh, some more pens I can use as ammo. Good. Hmm. 
I, I do like the, the addition. It doesn't just zoom in. It goes back a little bit and then zooms in. So it's like, dun, dun, dun. Cool. Um... Stealing, stealing. Everyone loves the stealing. Right. So there's quite a big area over here. Um, no, they've boarded it up. That shut me up, didn't it? Oh, it's the big turtle. Is the turtle still here? Um, you know you believe the witches um, had a little nipple on their body somewhere, inner thighs, arms, etc., from where they could feed their familiars, because well, that makes sense, you guess. Maybe it was so inhumane, upside down. It, it's like, you know, maybe the idea got around that they had the familiars and they sort of fed them themselves, but nobody saw them doing that, so they were like, ah, yes, but you wouldn't see it because there's a secret... That's tradition at this point. Um... <gasps> Um, so warts and moles are associated with witches. Uh, extra nipple. Extra, extra. Feed all no about it? No. This is a cure. Oh, that's the magical chair. Um... I don't remember which button it is to stop it. Um, it, it's it's sort of no, it's a bit painting, isn't it? It's sort of like sort of patching logic rather than realizing that you're just fundamentally wrong. Like if if anyone asks a question that disproves your point, you just come up with a new absurd thing that patches that. Hello, I've got a clue. Musical chairs. The chairs in the basement of the Royal Conservatory are currently being used by the overseers to cure the witches of heresy, causing them unbearable pain. Well, cool. We know that now. Witch trials and their logics. You know, logic being a loosely applied term. Uh, I'll never get used to it. She drowns. She'll be freed from the grasp of the devil. If she lives, she's a witch, and she will burn her at the stake for being free from the devil. <laughs> to make her free from the devil. Um, oh cool, it's just a shortcut. Lovely, 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 lovely. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh. We're now no longer suspicious because we are behind. Heavy sarcasm all round with the witch trial logic, yeah. It's in here. That is it. They have slightly changed the level. Ah, you're burning all the blood fly stuff. That's good. Good, good, good. Sensible. I suppose they're also burning all the reticle bits and bobs. Oh! When you look at them all lit up, it reminds you of the creatures from Bioshock. Is it the big sister? Uh, there's the little sisters and the big daddy. Also, what are we looking at lit up? <laughs> Don't turn around, thank you. <laughs> The people. Oh, with the, oh, I see. Right, yes. Ah, oh, right. What was the big sisters? I don't think. Hmm? Pat, Pat, cool. I hear it in my bones, in my blood, the music. No, you're dead. Um. Oh, there's someone in here. 
I forgot this was a room. Hello. What's going on here? What are they doing to you? What are they doing to you? Your eye has gone black. Yes, Is it ignore that. Punishment. They say I'm guilty of heresy. Do you think I'm guilty? I see you. You have a face. Your oh. eyes sees into the deepest part of me. Let me out of this cage. Here, look. It's mm -hmm. a door. It needs a key in it. Yes, so do I. But don't change the subject. Oh, Bioshock 2. Oh, I haven't played Bioshock 2. Spoilers! Open the door. I mean, I can, I can just sort of jump over it, really. Rats in the trees. Metronome. Bingo, keep you company. <laughs> Doors open, by the way. Yeah, so this was like there were two bookcases or something here. And a picture of me! There was a picture of me over there! Yeah. What about that? Okay. Uh, the door's open. It's hello. Kill them first. Kill them for the pieces of me they tore away. If they turn their eyes on me again, I am dead. That's appropriate. Uh, fair enough. Um. <laughs> Uh, right, so... Mus musical Healing Manual. Excerpt from Musical Healing Manual. Preparation. Also, hello, Crow. How you doing? Um, preparation. Secure heretics in the chair with the supplied leather straps. Patients will employ desperate measures to escape with the healing music. The lying tongue will implore your pity, twisting like a serpent into your gentle heart. Silence, please, with a soft cloth as needed. Session. Their wanton flesh will beckon you... Uh, will beckon to you as it writhes. I can't speak today. half lidded eyes will promise release for release. A carnal exchange for flesh, of flesh for freedom. Resist, brothers, harden your thoughts and turn away. That's not the turn of phrase you want to use, is it? The ancient music is the only cure for these lost creatures. Their redemption is your duty. Aftermath. Uh, despite our best endeavours, many creatures cannot be saved. Their corruption runs too deep to mend. Our task then is to dispose of their wasted flesh left. Okay, yeah. Uh, transport bodies to the morgue on the second floor and cleanse them. Remove the stains of heresy and uh, help them find purity in death. These are lovely people. Um, let's steal their stuff. Um, ancient music. This is one of the things, one of my favourite things in the original Dishonored was the idea that the outside outsider's powers could be nullified with a specific type of music. That's wonderfully strange. I was a big fan of that. Um, can I be here for a bit? You want to say hi and say, yeah, hello. I, I'm grateful for any time you, you wish to spend here. Um, yeah, sorry. Slightly changing the level geometry by adding more walls. Lovely, lovely. Okay, well, we've sorted out the basement. Let's go uh, and explore more. Good, good. Hello. Are uh, you alone? Probably not. Uh... You are now. Yeah, they definitely changed. <laughs> this this used to be a big open hall. <laughs> it's not anymore. <laughs> so, yo, you missed too much of this play for... <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much is left, but don't tell me. Yes, thank you, thanks for popping in. Um, okay, I usually sort of zip up and down in here, but I can't do that. I mean, I can, I've got the elevator. But... Okay, let's do some uh, reconnaissance. Reconnaissance. Uh, ah, my soul is trapped on a chair. Do, 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 do. 
German national anthem. Why am I singing that? Uh, <laughs> it's what music pops into my head when I'm playing these games. Um, are you here for like another twenty? Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were going. Oh, and see ya. Sorry, I thought I, I read that as see ya. Like goodbye. Got it. It's a continuation of the previous sentence. <laughs> They're embarrassed for showing an emotion. Never be embarrassed for emoting. Tables, picnic table. Um, you look like you're moving, that's a problem. Don't really remember this floor very well. Stop moving where I am. <laughs> mm. They got rid of all the books, so that's problematic for a museum, but, um... Who's there? No one. Because I'm elsewhere now. Amazing. What is in here? And lubber. Um. More turtles! Yeah. Why don't more games have a monocular? Hmm? Ah! Hi. Uh, what's that? That logo? I know that logo. There's a map of the, the Isles. Tivia, Morley, Crystal, Sakonis. So we are here. Karnaka, southernmost point of the Isles. Dunmore, that was where the first game took place, so we haven't really travelled very much. So there's all of this area of the world. Hasn't been explored. Um... I want to say one of your favorite things in the game is the dudes trying to sing the alphabet so. They tend to make the guards rather... They tend to excuse the stupidity. Effectively. Shay? Che Guevara? What? Slouching. Uh, what's here? Microphone. Oh, yippee. Ooh. Say nothing. I'll take them out the traditional way by jumping on their head. Have you ever encountered one of our blind sisters before, Brother Cirillo? It is very rare indeed for them to journey beyond their chapels. I only Little. saw them once before, during the Feast of Painted Kettles by the end of Dunwall's Rat Play. I... no, I have not. This is the first time. If I may ask, brother, why are they here with us? Surely we can manage these heretics ourselves. Sister Rosewind personally called for an investigation into this place, and in her wisdom brought our sisters to aid in this mission. Remember, brother. Their visions see beyond what you or I may understand in the present. Their prophecies guide the Abbey, and their pronouncements guide you. Yes, yes, of course you are correct. I will be wary of the errant mind. See that you do. Um, so I guess the trident is just the uh, the overseer symbol, because it's literally everywhere. <laughs> uh, I suppose there's not an awful lot to be picking up around given that they're destroying most of it. Hey! Now. <laughs> and you have this chat.
Oh yeah, it's on, it's the, it's on there. Masks. I'm observant. Don't mind me. Hello! Hey, how's it going? There's a bone charm nearby, but only when I jump. It's probably upstairs. Um... How's it going? Have you been well? Yum yum. Oh, no, you're, you're a uh, person. <laughs> Just lay right back down. That'd be great. There you go. On the bed. On the bed. Come on. Do this properly. Um, pretty good, yeah, marvellous. <laughs> ah, that's what that is. You, you open that, it smashes the thing, it wakes it. Ah, I get it. I get it, game designers. That's a lot of money. There's a bone charm nearby. There's grapes nearby. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. well I, I obviously can't speak for everybody else, but I'm I'm well, I'm well. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Still bad at video games. Let's <laughs> don't get any of those. Probably gonna have to go out now. Say hello to the brothers that are out there. Heels. Okay, cool. Um, or we can go upstairs. That's probably the safer thing to do, isn't it? Do that. To the curator's office. I just got to stand here. Or... Uh, okay, it's a bit more open up here. That's nice. So let's do a little scouting around, if at all possible. Ah, an oracular sister. They're probably not going to be happy with me marking them, they probably know. What with their sight and vision and such. I'm interested to see their gimmick. Or they probably have. Some calamity approaches. Is that me? I could probably be described as a calamity. Rats, tell me things. So we can't get in through the top. They uh, they fix that <laughs> from the second game. Um, still don't really know their deal. Might be worth. Hmm. 
I think that works. Um. Well, yeah, they definitely got the, the blindfolds. I, I do like the clothing's nice. Little waistcoat sort of thing. Dance monkeys? What? <laughs> My effigies of the Oracular Sisters. Fourth day, it's been difficult to create effigies of the Oracular Sisters. They keep to themselves, rarely venturing outside. Impossible to get hair and nail clippings I need. But I have an idea. If the sisters are linked even beyond death, then I can use their bones of the dead, dug from the Abbey graveyard, to attune the Oraculum to the minds of the living sisters. So the Oraculum was a... Void tapping device, which gave the witches powers in... Well, they don't, I'm not sure it gave the witches powers, but you, we used it as a feedback loop to strip them of their powers in the second game. Um, you're eating nugs before you head to work. Marvellous. That sounds what excellent. Um, it's done. Idolfina and several others brought back a wagon full of coffins. I'll start the new effigies at once. Still only faint voices. Nothing near the connection required to give them dreams. I must adjust the lenses, refine the effigies, sleep with their skulls beneath my blankets for a few nights more. Perhaps integrate the scarves they use to cover their eyes. Delilah is anxious about my progress, and yet there's not much to tell. I was able to interrupt several oracular sisters in conversation, leaving them momentarily at loss for words. This was mentioned in the last game, actually, that there was some sort of interference with the oracular sisters. Um, I'm confident that uh, soon enough I'll be able to make them say whatever I wish. Then I'll have news for my Empress in Dunwall. At last, I held one of the sisters in a trance-like state for an hour. Delilah was ecstatic. Soon we'll be able to control the oracular order. That's what they were talking about. And that's why they're here. They want to get rid of all traces of themselves, I assume. Praise Nugs! That, that's a good... I can get behind that. Um, a lot of... A lot of... Waving skelly bobs. Yeah, the the oraculum was here. It's this. Um. Yes, this this was the site of the coven. That's a mission clue, apparently. Um, ongoings of the Oraculum. The party of sisters have gone to investigate the Oraculum at the Royal Conservatory. It's rumoured that the mutterings and echoes of divinatory thoughts can still be heard coming from. Is this not it? This is where it was. Is that not the... I think that's the thing, isn't it? Can I, like, break these or something? Ooh, maybe. Maybe if I get rid of the incense. Probably not. Oh. Yeah, no, gotta admit, didn't think that would work. I think the skelly bobs in boxes are the dead sisters from the graveyard mentioned in the note. Uh. Is is there someone in the void talking to the oracular sisters? Okay, it's repeating, but um
and some of them might be coming from things they read in the manner of our transcends. My sisters do not believe me, and some have gone so far as to accuse me of a lying Fine. tongue. Bones I know and fine grass and hairs, she keeps both pillars, but I speak the truth. Dead. Yes. I brought this machine Long to a court to utter it. It is from heresy. Um, the Josh Clock voice, you never noticed what? Who? Clockworks? I. I. Hmm. I mean, it's under a fairly common narrative. The, the, the pious religious folk are using exactly the things that they condemn. Um. So I wouldn't be surprised. Stop talking. Did you hearing the rats, maybe? I. Well, no, they were talking about heresy. The, the voice mentioned heresy. She kept both close. It is dead. Yes, long dead is repulsive heresy. So that's what's making me think that this is something they've been hearing for a while. Because she said the voices sound like the visions or whatever it is that they get. Um, the thing that plays the recordings is the Jindosh Clockworks thing. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Yes, that doesn't surprise me. Jindosh! From beyond the... Not grave, exactly, but... Um... Yeah. Um, hello! It's the owls again! Nope. Uh, okay, what was up here? Um, this was, yeah, the, uh, special vault thing. The prototype in the second game. I'm gonna be talking about the second game a lot in this level, because it's from the second game. Thank you. Uh, this is locked. Um, oops, see, doodle. That's not the right button. No, nope, that's no. That's also not. Go, go away. Um, they've seen fit to get rid of that. But um, so, is there a way for my spirit to get in there? Two and a few owls. In the uh, in the second game, there were lots of. Um, the witches used to perch on there and have tea. And sit up in the rafters. Is the cushion place still here? Let's go see that. So there was a little hideaway over here. It had cushions in it. Victim of her own restless hands. She should be burned in the street with the rest of the filth. Why hasn't she? It's been three days since she fell. I must send a message to the overseers to come and clean this up. They've gotten rid of the cushions! Who was speaking? Show yourself to me. Oh, it's you. Uh, there's another one there. They are blind. Does that mean I can sneak up on them easily? Oh. Pill for the prophecies. Sister Rose Wynn keeps a detailed record of her prophetic visions. Rumor has it she knows every secret. Ah. Oh, someone else? Someone else was going for it. <laughs> I'm not the only person doing these contracts. <laughs> it's Plamps! Hello! How you doing? A week before 10 a.m.? Yeah. Um. So, okay, that's interesting. 
I'm not the only person being asked to do these things. This won't be the book. Is this the book? <gasps> oh, is it like a kind of... Ah, look at that. <laughs> Wasn't even with Rosalind. She got halfway there. She got the book. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> you get to Rosalind, you're like, where's this book? Why can't I find the book? I just bypassed that bit. That would have been cool. It lump. It in your bed. Yeah. Um, Roswin's Prophecies. Five red strings pulled taut over some unknown instrument. My sisters could not make sense of it. Perhaps it will reveal itself again. Uh, more political unrest in Morley. Useless squabbles to no end. At Lord Carrington's next feast, they will display the head of a blood ox as a centrepiece and assassinate their rival at the dinner table. I have consulted my sisters. We will write to Vice Overseer Handlem before the month of rain. Our site shows us the isles, from the trivial to the calamitous. A baker using sawdust instead of flour in Karnaka, a fishing net tangled around the child in Pottershed, a whisper between lovers in Dumble Tower. Tonight I witnessed the outsider's final moments in the void. I've imparted the danger to my sisters, but I could not divulge the true nature of my vision. It would only invite the errant mind. Some may greet the outsider's death with exultation, others sh would show more wisdom. I have not yet written to the High Oracle. I fear the event will come to pass before my message could reach her. No, I know what I must do to prevent this dissolution. She's worried. She's worried about me killing the outsider. Interesting. Sounds like an average Christmas dinner, to be honest. Ox head and an assassination. <laughs> ah! A little too standard for my experience, but, uh, you know, to each their own. To own their each. Hey, how you doing? Oh no, they do have a vision cone, so <laughs> probably not blind in the traditional sense. or well, the gameplay sense, anyway. Uh, don't need any. Whoops. There's no roof to this place, is there? Okay. You can stay here. There's a chair. Why not? No posture. I stole an egg! Is there an achievement for destroying all of the incense? That'd be nice. So, uh, yeah, we were trying to get into... The room downstairs as well, the bone charm nearby, probably in the room downstairs. Um, is there no way from here, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Can I can I smash this through the... Are these the five red strings? No. Are these the five red strings? That weird thin double base. Um... Apples. Yeah, I haven't actually cleared out this area, have I? I didn't finish with the floor below, so let's do that. We went to the cushions, but uh, before we before we continue any further, let's uh, hop downstairs. Uh, this way. Oh, I was gonna say it's like, oh no, no, this was it. This one? No, it was here. Oh, we'll never know. In my original playthrough, I, I blinked up here and blinked so fast and flew far forward so much I smashed a case there. Um, but it's not there to verify whether or not that was canonical. Could be. Could not be. So. Wait, somewhere in there, right? Or is it just a matter of finding the key? There is a key. Or I can blow open the door. I don't use grenades, so let's clear this floor out first, then we'll blow open the door. And this is where I was trying to get into originally. Okay, reconnaissance. Okay, overseer, lovely. Home charm, grand. Uh, another overseer. Another overseer. Uh, let's be honest, if you had a blink power, you'd be smashing into all sorts. Yeah. I 
think I clipped that one. It made me laugh. <gasps> Bertie! It's Bertie the bird! How you doing? You alright? See, I let you out of the lockbox. I'm nice like that. I gave you your freedom. Praise Bertie. Yay! Whalebone. Come on there. Oh yeah, shouldn't do that. Is someone there? Hello? Anybody? Take don't him. Make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. I think I can. I think I can. Who's saying this? It was coming from here. Let's see. I wonder what I'm dealing with. Combustion. Do it. <laughs> That's a threatening uh, tone of voice. Uh, combustion. Grenades. Yeah, I'm fine. I wonder oh. who that was. It's fine, don't worry about it. We're breaking all sorts of things, burning stuff. Setra. Hankpearl. Anyone here? Show yourself. Hank pearls are non-lethal, near-silent projectiles that can be thrown by pressing a click. They deal no damage, and while they do not break physical objects, their impact can be used to distract enemies. Once upgraded, you can also charge your shot using that and aim for the head to knock a target unconscious. Okay, so that's what the charge is for, if you recall. Hag peels. Sounds like my children. What? <laughs> can only carry one, apparently. Um, yeah, that's an interesting thing that I probably uh... will never use. Shut up. Oh, he's coming downstairs. <laughs> Peerles. He was a wee bit hungover. Oh, there's quite a lot of them coming down there. No, nobody there. Uh, Treasure. Okay. Go there. Too far away, is it? All of these overseers are called Mark. Weird, that. Where are you hiding, coward? Where am I watching? What? Ooh, hello. <laughs> um, there we go. Then I must be prepared. Pearls. Okay, that you got it that time. And it is fleeting. Look. It will pass. We'll pass. What? <laughs> what about we'll pass? Opening up a can thereof? What? I'll just be waiting. It won't be long. <sighs> um, these were all beds. Yeah, there's beds. There were bananas here, and this was the window. These are the windows I was talking about. So I can kind of get out. I can blink out, probably. Um. No! Wrong side! Just conjunctions that baffle her, yes. Trying to, trying to put things together. It's not passing old words that are unknown. Evidently, that'll take too long. Um. I did find a video, actually, of how to sort of Rude, make your own rudimentary text-to-speech analysis machine, and it's like, alert. I don't have time. 
but I really want to. Uh, oh, you moved. Excuse me. I'm trying to knock you out. A stream of untruth. The echoes of. Oh. <laughs> What the roots of heresy oh. run rampant and deep here. The high overseer oh, will want a thorough moment. inventory of every profane item. If there comes a heathen stinking from the what? void, then they will meet death tonight. Whoever's uh, speaking, do you not hear the sword fight that's happening? Brother, where are you? You notice that then? <laughs> These people are weird. <laughs> Knife tricks! Yeah, yeah, I'm. Yeah, that's a good knife, yeah. Bit of globe. Um, there were lots of weird bodies and stuff around here last time I was here. Um. Have I used the throw thing yet? No, because it won't knock people unconscious until I have the charged thing, I think. At the moment, it'll just use... It'll just be used to distract people. Um, so it's not too much use for me right now. Uh, probably too late now. What oh, the... Stop! Bump. Blimp. Um. Right. Um. Don't remember what was here. I think this place had bodies in it or something. Hyperbaric grenade. Grenade. No, no. Is that a missing texture I see? Um, what are you a glimpse? Hello! Um, letter to Brother Algernon. <clears throat> Dear Brother Algernon, I know you said to cease writing home to the Abbey so often, but something extraordinary has happened. I found my life's purpose. You always said that I subdued my errant mind. I would work with diligence if I subdued my errant mind. I And worked with diligence till my path would become clear. And it has, brother. I protect our sisters now. My heart trembles with the honour of serving them. They, they grace my humble eyes as they pace the conservatory corridors with brisk strides or bend their oracular gifts towards the profane equipment um, left behind by the her heretics. My responsibility, the Brotherhood's responsibility, is to protect them as they decipher what transpired within these benighted walls. That's a nice word. When Sister Roswin nods and thanks me, my entire being floods with the most intense satisfaction. Truly, I was born for this task. I wanted you to know. Heels in faith, Brother Minton. Oh, Minton. Oh, Minton, you naive fool. Well, I must be off. Have fun with the murder. Enjoy the pearls. Tip your waiter. <laughs> Good night, you Euros. Lof ya. Lof ya to you two. Thank you for popping in. Hope you had a good time. Uh, there's the harp. We've already been here. There's an unconscious oracular sister. She is. Uh, oh, hello. There's another unconscious oracular sister. By putting up all of these walls, it makes this a lot easier. Um, chair, you can sit on the desk. That'll do. Always a sub. <laughs> Knows good night is actually good night. Did I actually say good night? Ah, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so there's some weird passing going on. There is some, but it's strange. Yeah, you're not going to fit that in the box, that's a bit big. Let me help you. Good night. Oh yeah! Strange. Um, yeah, so we can't go through here. So... Or bloodfly husk. Bonk. Oh, I stood on the strictures. I shall be punished for this. 
Uh, what do we got? Selected sayings of the Overseer. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, hang on. These are three-digit codes. <laughs> I should probably know this. Because one of these is going to be a safe combination. I just know it. Um, you did what you set out to do today, so you can reward yourself with some good gaming. Yeah, that's how it works. What are you going to game? Uh, yep, there were big tentacles here when I was here last. Lovely. Is there a secret here? A wall I can blow up. Uh, oh yeah, that was there. Yeah, good, good. Hmm. Oh, yes, the brothers. Thing. That's all it was. A bauble. A yeah. trinket. Hey, don't. Yet it caught my eye. Why be tempted by such gilded nothings? I don't know. Window. Yeah. Um, either Stardew Valley or Moonlighter. Wonderful. Morgue key. <clears throat> That's. Oh, it's the morgue. Yes, they were sending the bodies up to the morgue, weren't they? Yes. That's excellent. Oh, I could come through here. That's interesting. So this is Tweedle. Uh, what's down here, rats? Tell me your secrets. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Can't see me if I'm on a turtle. What? That's a bad idea. Shanflop. Got your money. Uh, look at that good turtle. Um, any more fluttery things? No. There's a bone charm nearby. I should use foresight to scout the area. There's some ivory scrimshaw. I don't really know what that is. Oh, it's up there. Okay, that makes sense. Um, uh, her arm looks rounded. The knife um, arm, not the boring arm. Uh, yeah, it's um, probably shouldn't see all of this with the high f um, field of view that I like to use. But uh, certainly buggers up cutscenes. That's for sure. <laughs> There's a bone charm nearby. Only when I jump. Um, looks like a break there. Yeah. So this was here. This is where I came out. This is the front door. If we had decided to go that way. Um. Okay. I wasn't being. I have the morgue key. Let's do that. This is the restricted air. Ah, the custard iron. It only makes your clothes soggier. Um... Oh yeah, I never went up the stairs. We've been here. Um, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <gasps> Windows. Uh oh oh, which is key need? This one's blocked, but this one's locked. There's an extra B on that one. Um, I didn't really put two because you couldn't go through these doors. I don't think from uh, the original. You managed to get in from out here. 
There's a bone charm nearby. Wonder where it is. Okay, cool. Good to know. There's a bee! Bees! Um, what's the chances that the witch's key is in the morgue? Let's find out. Hello, rats! How we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bone charm. Distracting visit. Uh, thank you for popping in. Uh, Amanda, Goose, Goose, sorry. I didn't use names that aren't explicitly given out. Um, yes. Thank you for popping in. It's, it's nice to see you. It's glad, glad to hear you, you're doing well. Money, 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 money. Um, nope, I thought... Code then. Um, so is this just for the bone charm? Or... Better. And do do do. Bodies. Mines, more darts, bodies, 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 bodies. Apologies for going quiet, you're trying to remember a video game monster that the people in the game reminded you of when they're all lit up with the cone of vision out in front of them, it's really annoying, you know. Um, the the ones you posted in the thing, um, you see it in your mind's eye, okay, yes, um, I think, uh, Evil Within, Evil Within, DLC? Like a weird thing with like sort of high heels and a lamp for a face. Yeah, there. Pamps just posted it. No, no. What? Yeah, what Pamps just posted. Pamps was there before me. Um, because <laughs> I always liked that design. It, strange. I don't, the lamp was the main thing. Uh, morgue tasks. One, deliver Brother Cardo's autopsy implements to Smith for sharpening and purifying. Two, burn remaining cadavers, report any unusual events or anomalies to Brother Cardoza. Three, ask Brother Bolano to remove drainage grills for cleansing. Four, refill vats with embalming fluid to purge cadaver hoses of impurities. Five, remove a smuggler's rotting body from elevator and cleanse stench of death from room. Investigate how they infiltrated the conservatory. So there's a great, a great looking. I hope we don't give enough credit to Google search. Yeah. <laughs> That's horrific. Is that not the thing you were thinking of? <laughs> Is that the thing it made me think of? I think that from the second DLC or something. It's the only thing I really remember about that game. Um. Okay. Didn't find the witch's key. So let's uh. Go back upstairs. I don't think that was what you were thinking, but maybe it was. You don't know. You remember them having arms. Oh well, who knows? Thanks. The Pixar lamp. Yes, evil Pixar. <laughs> Pixar owned by Disney? No. Yes? Yes. 
So, yeah. <clears throat> um, what am I doing here? We got the harp. We got the oracular sisters. Okay, so let's actually do something. Cheeseman! It's the Cheeseman! In honor of Aramis Cheeseman. Friend to all miners and their families, may this establishment always prosper. Ah, uh, how's this gonna go? Probably poorly. <laughs> There's always the strap. <laughs> yes, every time you mention the strap, it uh, it's on the archive. I'll mark that. There's an oracular sister. There's uh, ah, Kadutha, Kadutha, oracular sister. Uh, oh, that's it. That's fine. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but sure. Gotcha. Oh, now I can look at the uniform. Oh, it's like a tiny little waistcoat. That looks weird. Okay, I don't like it as much. Um, I got a coin. Turtles are not my thing. Um, ah. <laughs> they scream into the difference, whisper questions. All their hate, their loneliness, their terror. They break its locks, one way after another. So this is Stilton before and after going mad. But uh, if you save him, which I think is the um, canonical thing, uh, he doesn't go mad. Um, to the royal creator Brianna Ashworth, my name is Eulatario Sinfuego. Is this the thing we've been looking for? Um, know that we have mutual friends, and that all that needs to be said on and that's all that needs to be said on that subject. Ah. I believe we share particular interests, so I'd like to ask that you make arrangements for us to meet privately under some artistic or curational pretense. There we may discuss in full question that occupies both our mind, the nature of the void, and a means to safely walk its ruined landscape in the flesh. Yes, I believe I've found a way to reach that fabled place. I have enclosed several silver graph prints. I submit them to your expertise. In the interest of our safety, I would ask that you keep these with the utmost discretion. Um, burn it all rather than risk discovery. By sending this short letter, I've already made dangerous enemies. Address your response to me directly. It's simply... Okay. Gold ingot as well. Elf elixir. Uh, a memory of 1849. Um, excerpt from a report by Brianna Ashworth, the previous uh, head of the coven of the these witches. Um, uh, Karnaka thrives on stories of rest of spirits and the malevolent dead. No matter how threadbare the tale, it spreads through servants' quarters and tap rooms, shifting and changing all the while. I've collected reports of strange happenings since our ritual in 1849, which brought Delilah back to us. That coward, Stilton, still lives in that same house. So we saved him. Two years ago, a kitchen girl from his serving staff fled her post and refused to return, saying that she had spied apparitions exchanging a muted conversation in the courtyard. Then a man who had delivered fruit to the manor for years abruptly stopped and never spoke of his reasons why. I have... I've even heard that Stilton himself has paid inordinate sums to allow his staff to visit physicians for mental exhaustion. Some have heard strange voices in their ear, while others saw shimmers of light that defied all explanation. As these weird hollow things. These events, I have no doubt, are connected to what we did that night. We have torn reality to allow a piece of the void to pass through, and it spreads there, and it spreads where it will. I wonder how far-reaching the effects of the ritual might become. It's like the world is breaking apart. Yeah, kind of. Um... Uh, there used to be a statue here. It's gone now. Then again, it was a statue of Delilah, so it probably exploded when she got trapped in the void or whatever. Again, for a second time. They moved the desk. Carve out bits of the wall. 
See the void. Is it a hint? Or can I blow that up? I feel like I can blow that up. I want to blow that up. Um Oh, there were loads of books and things here. There's a nice painting that I stole. Brother Cardoza, Sister Rosewyn requests your presence on the terrace. It's about the heretic archive. She wants you to take it. Yes, yes, very good. Tell Sister Rosewyn I'll be right there. Now you think of that old Scottish cheese advert. Too much talk about cheese. Flesh degrades further. Hmm. Yeah, you walk over to that dead end. That'd be great. Unusual separation. It's as the stricture says. The errant mind becomes fractious and divided. Fascinating. The sacred music. Fascinating. The arterial network leading to the seat of cognition. The dense tissue here. The anemic blood. Yes. Yes. Decidedly abnormal. Where does the seat of heresy lie? Which wayward organ compels these wretched creatures to seek the void to heed the outsider's dark whispers perhaps if I excise the witch's eyes next time before playing the music yes corrupted vision the shattered senses I must cut them out they scream in agony at the sacred music I got something yeah all beauty just miss out decidedly abnormal Their fevered minds they burn with heresy from Come in. What are they looking for? That they'd love to cut me open too. Um, we're gonna go on a trip to a chair. I agree about the bookcase. There, I actually have two empty bookcases next to me. Um. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, it turns out, as I as I walked around the other day, um, my floorboards are not happy about having two fully laden bookcases uh, sitting on top of one of them. Um, and rather than have everything come crashing down to the floor below, um, I thought it would be best to redistribute the books elsewhere. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got to do that. They're currently all laying on my floor behind me. Uh, this way. Not this way. Ooh. Oh, that was keys. I'm looking for a key. Which is key? Uh, this way. <laughs> Boom. Hello, Cardotha. How you doing? Um, how do we work one of these things? Ooh, there's a drawer. A little heavy pouch, lovely. Um, I remember these back in Dunwall. When it played, it was like knives sliding over your skin. How do we play? Oh no, we just had to put someone in the chair, yeah? Leave him in one of his musical chairs and I'll deal, deal with him myself. Okay, cool. Fair enough. So, have fun! Give you all the books. <laughs> You're safe in that you live in a bungalow with concrete floors. I also live in a bungalow. Um, unfortunately, it's a bungalow that has a loft conversion. Still don't know how that makes it a... You know, it's still technically a bungalow, but I don't know why. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I wouldn't call it a bungalow. Um, you can have books if you want. I mean, I don't read a lot of them. There's not that many I haven't read. Um, a lot of them are maths books. Do you want maths books? There's some good ones on combinatorics. That was my, my favourite area. Oh, Bungalow with a Hat. Yes. But it, it's one what, what of the interesting... This place truly is haunted. Um, one of the interesting things... 
Oh, no, it's on the archive. I didn't read that. The archive... Uh, yeah, sorry. One of the interesting things about building on a, a loft extension on a bungalow is apparently you can't have it go above the existing roof. So hopefully the existing roof is high enough. The archive sent by the pharmacist is intriguing. I wonder how he knew to contact me. I will interrogate him about this when we meet. Sinfoygo describes a place where the void can be seen and traversed and that such an entrance exists in the very mountain that overshadows the city. For all our years and all our power, how did something like that escape our notice? I want to dismiss the notion, but if it... Um, but... Uh, if just to preserve our pride, but I can't, it's too enticing. For now, I've searched through the records available to me, but there is no mention of this place in any newspaper or atlas that I can find. Not even the Ordnance Survey saw fit to mention it. Does it exist? If it does, then this uh, was this disruption caused by our ritual in Stilton's Manor? Or did some other event tear through the hidden boundary of the Void in the same manner? Uh, we, we did mess up with time. Um, these documents suggest it is much older, but I can't be sure. The Void takes delight in warping our understanding of such things. I will keep this to myself for the moment. It will be something to discuss with Delilah over candied chestnuts and raised hair in a Dunwall Tower. That's... There are places where the Void leaks into our world, like a crack in a ship's hull. But how? Oh, I believe it was our... our belief that... Uh, Brianna and uh, Delilah were a, were a thing. Show me the void. I didn't want to. Oh, hang on, it's gone. Nope, nope, there, there it is. It is there. Uh, let's see, mine. We can be there. Show me the void. Oh. Um, Harold? Very nice painting. Uh, yep, this is a way that we can get in from here. Uh, there was a bone charm in here. It's gone now. Chris, what? Stop, what? Who? What? Where? Rats. I possess dangerous, too big, not safe. Places, dark places, where our hearts didn't fall back. Um, what am I doing? The overseers have divided this these areas up because they believe there may be her heretical objects hidden within the walls, and they sort of broke open this and they found a stash of stuff. And I went over to this thing, over here, <clears throat> and I saw through to something else. And I thought, ah, maybe if I throw a grenade at it, it'll blow up and it'll there'll be a hidden thing there. Because they've started excavating it, but I found the hole. That was my thought. There's also a microphone here. Lovely. Um, it's a meme. I don't know memes. Don't meme in front of me. Uh -huh. Look, I, I think that's a perfectly good explanation. Um, okay, let's go and see our Oracular Sisters friend. Do some exploring. Hello, turtle. Hey, you doing? <laughs> uh, um. Oh yeah, I didn't check this. Um. Do do I do 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 body dead. No. Oh, shame. The subject of today's examination is a well-developed, well-nourished woman appearing the offered age of 29 years. The cause of death is undetermined, but Brother Wells saw her collapse during musical therapy, convulsing and screaming. Which heretical organ inside her wasted, pale flesh rejected the ancient music? Mm. Initial examination showed no rigor, and lividity was at a minimum and unfixed. The 
unembalmed body is well preserved and cool to the touch. Pressure on the chest reveals pliant skin. Oh, he's a weirdo. No contusions, no marks. Only smooth. Flawless. Why must it take death to purify the darkness from your flesh? How can I remove the stain of heresy from your body and preserve this wondrous symmetry of form? Symmetry? How to cut out the outsider's foul influence from inside you, leaving only grace and perfected beauty behind? Oh, yes, my dear. You are lovely like this. Lovely. We've got a Steinerman. There's a bone charm nearby. That was weird. Why did that happen? A uh, message from Lenny Rosal. Um, Cardoza, the heretic archive we have discovered here is more dangerous than we could have known. A recent vision has revealed its importance to the future of the faithful. If we do not act soon, I believe we could undo everything that the Abbey has accomplished in the Isles. There are only two courses of action before us. Burn the archive with the other blasphemous documents we have uncovered, or have it delivered to Whitecliffe for further study and deliberation. I will meditate upon my vision today and decide which is in the Abbey's best interest. I will send one of my sisters to retrieve you when I have reached my decision. When that happens, come immediately to me and do exactly as I tell you without a moment's delay. It's too dangerous for the information this archive contains, that this archive contains, to linger in this place any longer than necessary. Sister Revisible. Um, yeah, this is where we did lens stuff. In the second game. Uh, Roving Vice Overseer's mission notes. Last entry, Sister Rizvida uh, directs us to destroy the witch's books and papers. Her wisdom is beyond question, and yet I've glimpsed such wonders in their pages. What harm lies in looking through the tomes before the fire consumes them? <gasps> Should we not know the enemy before we fight? Should we not study their corrupt thoughts to better understand them? A doubt plagues me and leads my mind down an errant path. It is heresy, I know this, yet uh, still I burn with curiosity. It didn't even capitalise errant path. <gasps> um, if only I could preserve a few small volumes from the flame. Ooh. Ah. Leech. Props to the voice actor for being so extremely creepy only through pauses. He's just pausing at the right time. Um, oh, is this a thing? Uh, while using the semblance, killing an unaware target increases void energy. No. The use of the dramatic pause can be, well, dramatic. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. <laughs> um, so yeah, the roving the roving vice overseer apparently has been a bit corrupted. Kel Surprise. All right, let's deal with this lot. You don't have a blindfold, though. Also, why are you just sort of sitting there? <sighs> okay, so... Almost makes you shiver with anticip. They hate it. the door it is now no longer locked that one's still blocked though and <laughs> um, there's a bone charm nearby undertaker that's carrying bodies yes probably be helpful move slightly faster when carrying a body thank you um Cool, 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 cool. Cool. I'll take a shot. Who'd have thought that the key to this room was in the room? Ah, cushions. Yay. 
We found some cushion in there. Um. Umberwood cigar box. I say goodbye. My name is Catriona Bell. I was born in Bailton to a mother I never knew. Spent my youth sweeping floors in a factory. When I left for Kanaka, I only found more misery, dust, and death. Here, with Brianna, I danced naked with bloodflies and kissed the raw, wet bones of the people who slighted me. Then it all vanished, and the overseers came. I'll die in this room, but I'm with my sisters, who love me very much, who love me as much as I love them. Um, I will meet with them all again in the void. Note number two. I hate that person. <laughs> uh, okay, yes, let's, let's leave. <clears throat> it's like locking your car keys in the car. Mm. And then subsequently dying. That ever happened to you? God, it's a nightmare. Um, so here's my question. I say when you're blind that your hearing improves. Set the balance. Restrict the water and some skulls. Find them out. Find them out. No, I'm the one speaking. No, I'm the one speaking. We see everything in time. You see everything. Don't hit me. I may have found an issue with their pathfinding. <laughs> they see everything. <laughs> Including the floor approaching very quickly. Um. <laughs> oh, do you want to come down? You coming down here? <laughs> I didn't do anything. I mean, I, I did strangle one. Every day we find. Every what? Oh, uh, well, if you want to be like that. You should never have come here. He's here. Close. We I'm here. Hello. Do you want to come down? Where have you come say hello? The destruction now comes because... You walk across burning coals. I didn't seem to mind that. You realized I was here when I was strangling them. I didn't kill them. What? I think I'm fine. I will not oh, hello. allow this. Will not allow what? You have eyes. Why do you have eyes? You will oh, so are you using a mace? Yep. 
Didn't see that coming, did you? I can take a look at this with a silver graph projector. Ah. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know. Why are you not wearing a blindfold? You're the head of the people who have blindfolds. Some of them are still alive. Um, a lot of, a lot of incense to purge. God, have they ever breathed fresh air? Um. How would they know she wasn't wearing a blindfold? That's an interesting question. Some hyperbaric grenades, you need those for religious work. Uh, your lost diary. Sister Roswin, we have yet to locate your personal diary of the prophecies and meditations. That's how you find out someone nicked it. The thief, as you know, fled along the catwalk that borders the atrium um, and to the elevator shaft. You just literally tell me where it is. Fortunately, she fell to her death. We searched her, but your diary was not found among her effects. She may have concealed it somewhere before she came to her end. She's literally next to the body. The body of Sister Cyan, who died in an attempt to subdue the thief, has been properly attended to. Her remains are on the way to our chapel presently. May her spirit fade and merge with the cosmos. I am certain that no one has found your diary and neglected to inform us, but I know that if I catch an overseer reading your private notes, I am within my rights to kill him for his flagrant debasement of the wandering gaze. Yours in faith, Sister Rimos. Um, if the head of the ocular sisters doesn't wear a blindfold, but no one's there to see it... Or maybe it's like Thief as you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we, we searched her, but your diary was not found among her effects. I mean, they are blindfolded, so maybe it's just... Maybe that's what that was. Um, question. What is this a window to? I don't think you can get in that part of the building. They, they set up a nice stage. That's nice. Oh! Ow! Yeah. Ow. That's the most damage they did to me. Snuff the fires. Not in that way. Okay, right, let's go to a silver graph projector and then we're pretty much done here, I think. To the basement, to the basement. Why didn't I just go down the thing? Yeah. Do it the obvious way. Maybe the obvious way is not a good idea. <laughs> That's right. On to the toidle. Ivory Scrimshaw. Thank you. Um, and to the silver graph. Whoop. Oh, there's a body in there, isn't there? <laughs> what about that? This is what I needed. There shouldn't be anything on this part of the mountain. Shindere North Quarry. That's where the Eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the silver graph plate with me. That seems like a very awkward path. I should keep it with me. Back to the toidle. Um. Alright then. Here's a question Do I kill everyone? <laughs> The witch is dead. According to a swarm of rats, there are witches being tortured with the agonizing music at the Royal Conservatory. One of them died while trying to escape. I've cleared the building. <laughs> kind of know. I think that's one of the first things I saw. It was out front. I won't kill everyone, but uh, just know I will do on another save file. Um, <clears throat> um, right. I guess that's it. This is a very awkward way to get back into my house.
Neutral territory. Um, well, let's end the mission, I guess. Go to Shindere North Quarry. By the way, really enjoyed the song we shared with us yesterday. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. I didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill a single person. Just know that. To be fair, they did have blindfolds on and I did run into a hole, but... Um... Very unstealthy, that's about right. Bottom right, that's where we live. Uh, Mr. Bone Charm, I guess that's probably the reward that the woman gives you that I didn't want. Didn't like um, didn't do that one because I had to kill, I would have had to kill literally every person. Yes, kill every last blind sister and overseer except for Cardo's relieve him in the chair, which I did, but I didn't kill everyone else. So. Um, it's raining witches. <laughs> they're not witches. Well, are they? I suppose they technically are. If they, if they're getting, you know, their visions from the void, maybe they are. Right, let's see what the beginning of the next mission is, and we'll uh, end there because I'm very much overrunning, but I wanted to finish it. Or there's going to be a black screen, one or the other. Now oh, there we go. It's, it's the outsider. A hole in the world. A silver graph plate you recovered from the Royal Conservatory points to a secret location far away in the mountains near Shindere Peak. Once you're there, find an entrance to the void and eliminate the outsider. This may be the last mission. Um, they aren't witches? <clears throat> no. Okay, so the witches were there before. And the people who were being tortured. Um, the people who were dead in the room before the other ones fell into the room and died. Um... They were witches. The people who have come in to clean it up are like nuns. But they take weird visions and yeah. Um they're they're witches in all but name, I guess. Given their weird powers of prophecy via the void. Yeah, these things happen. Press any key. There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. Yeah. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through, and that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void, a fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight I'll find out if he can still bleed. Lovely. This is the place. Shindere North Quarry. You just woke this up. It shouldn't <laughs> exist, but from what I can see, this place is real. At least for now. Here, the void is closest to the surface of reality. Breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. We have uncovered more than most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, every Step desperate wretch pushed to the edge. They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge, they are never satisfied, no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever god came before my time. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them, they had names. And ambitions. Now, they wander this place. Their minds snared up with terrible secrets. Keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. 
You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? That is Quentin. What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. Alright then. So we just kind of woke up here. Nice. Um, contracts. Kill the outsider or find another way. <gasps> Can we break the title of the game? Find the ritual hole, reach the mind. Th th stop throwing things at me. <laughs> uh, what, with the contracts? You have no extra contact. Why? Yeah, we know all these. Uh, we got the audio graphs. Law, notes on the archive, maps. Travel log. Stuff. Bone charms. I can craft bone charms now. That's nice. I have more things. No, no, this is... Yeah, bone charm crafting. Where did I get that? Uh... That's the slashy thing. Whispers. Yeah. Yeah, all that. Um... Protect the boy. Oh, see if I can keep him alive. Why not? Um... This world's interesting with a bit of chaos. Uh, but it, we can't do that now because we have to end the stream. So... Thank you everyone for coming along. Apparently this is we're nearing the end. Um So yeah. Hole in the world. Speaking of holes. Um yes, so I did um Sorry for that brief moment of silence there. I was trying to turn up the cutscene so you could hear it better, and it turned it made the cutscene go silent. So I tried. I try these things. Uh thank you for coming along. Not because I saw it was a bit longer than usual, I just I knew it wouldn't last much more and so i thought i'd just see it through to the end um maybe we'll finish this on sunday i don't know maybe we won't it was good fun thanks for streaming thank you for coming along um i'm glad you enjoyed it um yes today is wednesday apparently my sense of days has disappeared because i've been doing things in terms of events <laughs> So it feels like a Monday, but it's actually a Wednesday. Um, hooray, it's Strim! Uh, and for making the nuns fall in the hole. That was, yeah, uh, surprising. The the pathfinding in this game hasn't been fantastic, but I've never caused any enemies to just jump to their deaths before. So that's that's a new one. Thank thank you, Plamp. Um, yes. You're thinking it's Sunday all day. It's, yeah, it's just a weird time of year, isn't it? Well, it's the beginning of the year. But um, you know what I mean. Honk! Um, so yes, yeah, thank you for coming along. I, I assume, um, however erroneously it may be, I assume that we have uh, Chippy Nether's Days tomorrow, um, as well as other fun streams. Uh, is there an Oob stream on Friday? I'm back. It's always bad. Always bad. Um, at keeping track of my friends. Yes, maybe. Maybe try today. Ooh, maybe try. Ooh, exciting. Um, regardless, there will be good friends streaming, probably, at some point, between now and when I next do it. Um, we'll carry on with Forest of Doom, probably. Um, but in future, the uh, Saturday slot will become the creative slot. And next Tuesday, I suppose, will be the first of the Metal Gear Solid draw-through, because we're going to do those on Tuesdays, so as to avoid RPG things. Um, but for now, one more PAL stream, PAL poster stream, and then I'll try and get it done in my work hours. Um, more Dishonored on Sunday. Getting near the end. And apparently this place is weird because it's got people who are thousands of years old just kind of wandering around. Um, yes. So thank you for coming along. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a slightly pedestrian stream, just going around an area I've already been around. Um, this is so, this, this is DLC. It's not a, it's not a game. Um, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but it's DLC. Uh, yes. So, yeah. Fun. Thank you for coming along. 
have a wonderful time. I need to find some music to end the stream on. Uh, sure. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>